I want to see a Nightwing movie. You want a Nightwing movie or a movie with Nightwing in it? Have you ever read Nightwing Year One? No, but I feel like Nightwing would be perfect as a supporting character. No. Dude, if you have not read Night Nightwing Year One, trust me. You can have the flashbacks, like what they're doing in Suicide Squad with the, you know, little bit of Batman and all that mm -hmm. stuff, which would make it super, like, people be like, oh, this is a Batman character? Because nobody knows about Nightwing. The, the Exactly, which is why. No, no, no. That's why I think he's so cool, though, is because, him, like, not only is he part of the family, but he's the guy that goes up against the bat, being like, fuck you, dude. You know what I mean? Right. Like, you're a dick. Okay. Like, that's total drama. Right. You know We'd agree mean? Matt Damon would be a badass Nightwing, but he's a little too old. Yeah. Did you ever see Kingsman? That kid would be crazy. That kid would be good as a Nightwing. That Am kid I right? would be crazy. Yo, Hollywood, call us up. Where does his profits? I'm telling you. <laughs> that cat would be a good Nightwing. I'm telling you for sure. So, Nightwing's main dude, because he's in Bloodhaven, right? Mm -hmm. Would probably, like, ping Return of the Penguin? Are we going to see Penguin back? Nah, so Penguin's not a Bloodhaven villain. So, in the, in the original... Nightwing um, graphic novels. I own almost all of them. Uh, it was like blockbuster. You don't have to stuff. give us your resume. Your f***ing name is Nightwing, bro. Well, just lot, spit people, knowledge. Don't tell us don't, what, how you know. Just spit the a knowledge. Lot of, a lot of people don't know the character, though. But his main baddie at the time during his first few novels or, or runs were, was mm -hmm. Blockbuster. There's two different Blockbusters. I'm not going to go into it because I'm going to get super nerdy. But that was his thing. I don't think that Blockbuster's interesting enough to be a main villain. But I say, like, like move somebody like Black Mask over mm. would be sick. Okay. You know what I mean? Like something like that. Okay. So and like Titans would be cool. There was rumors about a Teen the Titans. The thing. TV show, yeah, and then it got canceled. Yeah. So it never got work. off. Never, never got off the ground. Batman Beyond. Um, uh, clearly. I'm oh my Batman God! Fan. Batman Beyond needs to. It will happen eventually. Like I don't that's know. a guarantee. No, it, it will because the generations. I think they're just waiting for those dudes to the TV, grow up. The TV show. They are grown up. Warner Brothers. You don't understand. They're so sensitive with this Batman character. When I think that they can do a whole. You know well, what they I mean? are. They're doing Gotham, which is terrible. <clears throat> no, I know that's not Batman, dude. Like, but that's what you're talking about. A Batman universe. That's They're doing saying. it. That's not that. That's not the same. You can't, How is it not the same? Because there's no Batman there. But your Nightwing movie would barely have Batman. Yeah, but Batman exists. That's the there's point. There's Batman in Gotham. No, it's there's Bruce not. Wayne. That's Bruce Wayne. Oh He's not God. Batman yet. <laughs> but it's a Batman universe. Not even because it's like they did everything different. Like Batman's the reason why all these villains are there, not the other way around. How can you tell origin stories of villains that their origins are tied in with? The Batman. Look, I agree. Gotham is not very it's horrible. good as a premise, but I think WB is like going towards that direction. They're trying to. I think that they're not doing it right. And well, no, need... DC is not doing anything right. They're doing everything backwards. We'll disagree on that all day. I just think that they need to take more risks with this character and the character supporting it. The Batman could be its own thing. Okay, so Batman Beyond movie. Would be sick, but I don't think that they'll ever have a Bruce Wayne that's not the Batman, or a Batman that's not Bruce Wayne. He just because might it, me right now. What did you just say? Because Batman's not Bruce Wayne in that. Okay, right. It's, it's Car or Terry, right? Well, what's his name? Terry. They, they did do McGinn that in McGinnis. Gotham. McGinnis. There's Bruce Wayne that's not Batman. But it's Bruce Wayne, though. It's still there. You know what I mean? There is no Batman, period. So I don't think that they'll ever have a Batman that's not Bruce Wayne. You know, you know who I mean? would play um, Bruce Wayne in a Batman Beyond movie? If Clint they were Eastwood. Make... Oh my God, yes. Yeah. Uh, he's so grumpy. Dude, yeah. Like, that would be the one. It would be epic. Yeah, yeah. Who would play so... um, Terry? Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, who would play him? I mean, that's tough because he's young. They'd probably have to go unknown. They would have to go unknown. Um, the the guy, Will Friedle, that voices his character. Oh, okay. Um, he was... Yeah, uh, he looks like him. That's the thing, is that yeah. he's uh, Corey Matthews' brother in Boy Meets World. Yeah. The older brother. I think that if he was younger and slim, and because he's a little heavier now, but if he was like in his prime, like I think that he just would have been like, it would have been perfect. You know who would have, if we're allowed to go back a, in time? A young Freddie Prince Jr. would have worked too. You know, if or we're allowed young, to do this? Or a young Keanu. Th that's what I was just going to say. Stop <laughs> it. I was just getting there. My bad. Keanu Reeves would have been great because he wants to be Batman. What? He said, I, oh, I wanted to be Batman so bad. That I'm so glad he's not Batman. He's not. Why not? There's a <laughs> bomb on this bus. <laughs> Bogus. He is not bad. Uh, but yeah, a young Keanu Reeves, like, that would have been pretty good Batman Beyond. Yeah. So, anything not Batman related do you want to see? I would like to see an X Men movie done correctly. <laughs> 
okay? And, and hear me out. I want to see the real five. First class was cool. And I like all the X-Men movies, so, well, except for the third one. But um, I like all the X-Men movies. I think they're cool. But I would like to see the real X-Men. Recast everybody. First original five. Then for maybe the, the second movie, do the special issue where they brought in Colossus, Banshee, Storm, Wolverine, all that stuff. I think that would be sick. Spider-Man 2099. That would be another cool one. Um, oh my god. Yeah. You have an extra pair of pants, bro? <laughs> Spider-Man, we were just talking about this. Spider-Man has the best alternate costumes. Yeah. Yo, he's like Lance Fresh. He always comes correct with the new <laughs> outfit, yo. Like, Spider-Man comes shout, correct. Shout, shout out to Lance. Lance is cool. Spider-Man 2099. Mm -hmm. I want to see that, but also... I think the Shattered Dimension storyline I think that's would be too, dope. I think that's a little too confusing. Have you ever seen Inception? No, but I've Sub heard about Sub that yeah. with Spider-Man. Oh, please make that. Yo, that would be so sick. I was so excited for the Spider-Man universe that was supposed to happen. Like yeah, Sinister, Sinister Six. Six. I was like, yo, that's going to be dope. Then like, studio got in the way. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's what happened because you look at the Amazing Spider-Man, like, that was good, but you were like, it okay. Cool. It was cool. The next one's going to be better. And you knew that going in. And, and then the boy, studio got in the way. Yeah, it, it had the potential. That oh, costume yeah. that they did yeah. for that movie was perfect. Perfect. Like, I mean, it's perfect. And talk about talk about perfect adaptation from comic to film. Yeah, like Deadpool or whatever. Mm -hmm. Like this, that was another one. That costume yeah. from page to, to 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 movie was sick. I mean, I don't hate any of the Spider-Man movies. Like, I know three's bad, and the Amazing Spider-Man two is like whatever. But the thing about I three think, is I like think three is worse than Spider-Man two. Yeah, it is. But like. I like the Sandman thing. He yeah. was cool. Well, it wasn't. Yeah, it was the the, the botched uh, symbiote storyline. Yes. Venom needs to happen. Shit. Carnage. Let me say it. Sorry. This is my <laughs> Spider Man's my guy. I, I was just about to say. Okay, so yes, Carnage needs to happen. Venom still needs to happen, but Carnage. I mean, everyone wants that. That right there. That they need to push. Hard PG thirteen. Or rated R. Carnage is a killer. He's not a. He's not. He's not. Yeah, no. Uh, a I, I don't agree with rated R, but no, like. So like, what I mean by like, you need to imply. Yeah, a lot no, of no, that no, stuff. no. So like, there's a PG-13 movie that's Spider-Man, right? Yes. But then there's a PG-13 movie that's Spider-Man, but as a horror genre. Uh, so that's, that's what, what I think they so need to do. You know those scenes that Sam Raimi did in Spider-Man Two when Doc Ock first mm -hmm. and the and it killed every. Yeah. That. Like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's, I mean, it could totally work. It would be That sick. needs to happen. So. Another comic book superhero thing that I want to see, just because I think he looks sick, but I don't know much about him. Mm hmm Martian the Manhunter. Well, so we don't know if he's not in the Justice League, but I think not having him in there is a big mistake. I think that dude is dope. I he's never been my favorite but like so you're putting him up against the other leaguers so it's mm -hmm. like unfair you know what mm -hmm. I mean but when you take him as he is like he's kind of like a funny like version of Superman you know yes. what I mean like he's super strong but he's got different powers like the telepathy the mm -hmm. um the uh he can phase he can shape shift all this stuff but then he's afraid of fire like right. it's his weakness and he loves oreo cookies like i mean well, you know what i mean like it's just like some some stuff is so like martian manhunter is cool but the quest the question should do you no you got to look question. it up the question it's a dope it's a it's like dick tracy but not campy <laughs> okay. and he, and it, his his mask is nothing it's a he's faceless those are just some of the characters i can go on if we like really there's give a me, lot but yeah, if we really what do you like, guys like time. what comic book property you want to see in the movie and don't do the typical like you know what i mean like i copped out with some of them with like certain spider-mans or or x-men like a relaunching x-men i want to know like 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 a wildcats or a shadow hawk like these kind of characters like who would you like to see archie not Archie. Archie Comics. Yo, Archie's a, Archie's a stud, bro. He's got two fine ladies to, left and to, right. To me, one blonde, to me the, one, one that, black hair. Yo, That's saved by the bell right there, bro. No, yo, yeah. Archie no, no, is no. a stud, I think, bro. I think that we've seen that. Have TV. you seen those two chicks, Veronica and yeah, Be have. Betsy or whatever? They got nothing on Rogue, though. The real Rogue, not the movie Two Rogue. for the price of one, yo. Rogue's boobs are two for one, bro. <laughs> this time around, we're going to be talking about Deadpool the movie. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Are you ready, kids? Hell fucking yeah! We saw Deadpool with... It was me, you, and Jordan. This movie was hyped up, right? Yeah, it was like it was like Kanye hype.